queue. Frightening moments at schools across South Carolina as threats of shootings and bombs come through 911. Investigators say 22 entities in all were affected by the threats, which turned out all to be hoaxes. It all started at 9.30 this morning when Buford police got a call claiming there was an active shooter inside Buford High School. That led to a lockdown of all the classrooms and students inside. Some of those kids told us that they hid out in closets to stay safe, calling their parents on their cell phones to tell them what was going on. Some of those in tears as they made those calls. Law enforcement immediately went into the building and cleared the entire area room by room, finding no victims, no suspects. All my guys uh, on the ground at the school could not say enough about how these kids responded to this call. I mean, they listened carefully. Uh, they followed uh, uh, the requests that were made by school staff who did an exceptional job. Uh, and we are extremely proud. And WSAV's Andrew Davis has been there all day as this chaotic situation unfolded. He is joining us now live from Buford High School with the very latest. Andrew? Yeah, it is a much calmer scene right now than it was earlier today. More than 1,000 students inside Buford High School had to be evacuated. First locked down, then evacuated, then eventually sent back to their parents. The last one of those I saw personally was about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Now, once it was determined exactly that this was a hoax and it was not a threat, it was time to move the students to safety and get them back home. They were bused from the school itself to the football stadium where they were debriefed interviewed and counseled before being let go. Now outside parents just waited and waited, some for hours at a time to be able to see their kids again. And when they finally came through the gates, they were able to let some of that built up emotion go from a very stressful day for everyone involved, both inside that school at the time or home waiting. The fact that someone could do a hoax to this magnitude to affect an entire town, it's just uncalled for and you know careless and you know takes away from the people that probably need help. Just, I just had to see him and hug him and just know that he was okay. So it was very stressful. Hoax or no hoax, real or not, it's it's just something no parent wants to hear. What was so. it like when you finally got to see him? Oh, I gotta make that go. <laughs> I, just I just can't put it into words. <laughs> Now counseling will be made available to any teacher or student who needs it, according to the Buford County School Superintendent. The investigation itself, by the way, now is not just local. It's moved on because of potential ties to the other situations throughout the state, all the way to the FBI. But Sheriff P.J. Tanner says if someone local is involved or whoever is, they will be held responsible. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you.